stop and look and they wonder is the city really drilling for oil is this for real and they um, you know really stand by the fence and talk about uh, different uh, issues Hi, this is Manish Bora from Artlog.com. I'm here with Josephine Mexkiver, and we are here at the Manhattan Oil Project in the middle of Times Square on 48th and 8th. Yeah, the uh, beginning idea for this project was uh, my visit to a small town in Texas called Electra, which is really the capital of oil pump jacks. And I was able to study and look at uh, a variety of different oil pumps to realize this project to make sure that I can really um, do uh, replicas of these works that are really based on actual oil pumps. And why did you want to bring it to this area in New York? The idea was really to um, show artworks near Times Square that have a real, like a um, connection to a, like a real issue, and that are not just artworks that uh, people feel are sort of like a, a decorative um, uh, form, but they actually reflect and talk to people about issues that uh, affect us all, which is you know, the uh, crisis with natural resources and how it reflects on our lives and the personal sphere. Your work, which has been shown around the world, often deals with consumerism, and obviously Times Square is really the like representative of, of advertising and, and consumer goods. So, did you did you feel that this was a, a great match for for Times Square, and, and how has the public responded? Yeah, it's actually been like the most rewarding experience in terms of the reactions because people that uh, walk around here are not necessarily looking for art, but they're looking for. Um, you know, all kinds of uh, diversion, you know, what we're looking at in terms of, um, you know, drilling for oil is something so archaic and so outmoded that, you know, these pieces cannot signify that more, that it's really, you know, way uh, past due that we start investing and looking for different uh, energy sources because there's really no uh, point in continuing something that will only bring more uh, wars and more um, destruction. So also a big influence um, from like the Russian constructivists and the primitives because their ideas, uh, for example, Ted Lean's idea was to make artworks that are completely functional and that are not just uh, you know decorative or uh, aesthetic, but that actually have mechanical function. And when he built his tower for the uh, third international, it was really with that idea in mind to build something that everyone can relate to. And it's not just for a rarefied art. I think hopefully it will travel to different uh, places all over this country and they have also been previously shown in Switzerland in a slightly different form but um, I really yeah, would like to continue this kind of uh, journey uh, that connects people to art in a way that is less uh, didn't and less uh, elitist and kind of opens up a dialogue about real issues.